Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. I, I saw she just took a bite. <laughs> you okay over there? Mm-hmm. All right. Today is... Uh, what some is people it? can talk with their mouths full. Some can That's not. right. I was, there's no way I could. You were far more talented. <laughs> Uh, Tuesday, the 10th day of January, National Bittersweet Chocolate Day. Is that what you're eating over there? Some bittersweet chocolate? I am eating some chocolate. National some Cut cocoa. Your Energy Cost Day, National House Plant Appreciation Day. You know who appreciates a good house plant? My brother, Jason. Yes, he does. He's which got, is, he really does. It's, it's at least now kind of tame. For a while there, it was it's almost like a disturbing. jungle in there. You walk in, you're like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, Oyster Rockefeller Day. You ever have that? No, I don't even know what it is. It's Oyster Rockefeller. Uh, National Save the Eagles Day and Shop for Travel Day today. (gasps) I'm always up for that. Let's do that. Let's go find a fun place to go. Maybe we should have people suggest places. Where should we go? Oh, that wasn't nice. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Okay. Hey, in addition, we're going to be talking with Heidi's dad. It's a little thing we call Tuesdays with Charlie. That's on the way. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Sorry, dads. We're not the top of the list when it comes to the baby's first words. According to the largest ever study of early vocabulary by a team at Cornell University, while a child's first word is often mama, Across different languages and cultures, they usually learn the word this and that before they utter the word dad. Why this? This Why that? that? The words are used to grab their parents' or caregivers' attention, according to researchers, who determine that children are excited to spread their curiosity with others and thus use those words early on to help demonstrate their point of view. While adults think of those words as simple, their meanings are fairly challenging for children to understand at young ages. So, uh, first words, mama, then this, then that, then eventually sometime down the road. I honestly don't remember my children saying this and that. Yeah, I think they basically just kept saying dad. (laughs) <laughs> no, that's over not what and no, over no. and over. Our son's 26. He still hasn't said it. So. <laughs> One of these days. All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know there's a book that shares the seven most important factors for getting rich? Yeah. Some people believe that becoming rich is a question of luck. Well, historian and sociologist Dr. Rainier Ziltman disagrees. He says these seven things help. I'll go through the list. Setting big goals. The ability to sell. Nonconformity or taking joy in swimming against the current. So far, I have all of these things. Uh, Being able to handle setbacks, yes. Uh, The ability to win trust from others, yes. Persistence and a willingness to experiment, definitely yes. And focus, focus, focus. Well, you can't have them all. You can't have them all. Now we know what I need to work on at least. Uh, It says, Dare to be Different and Grow Rich, uh, The Secret of Self-Made People, a book by Dr. Rainier Ziltman, historian, sociologist, world-renowned author, successful businessman, and real estate investor. I've got a link to it, by the way, if you want to check it out. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by channelsurfertv.com. King Charles III is resport- uh, reportedly eager to reconcile with Prince Harry, contrary to the recent claim of Harry. Telegraph reported that uh, those close to the king insist that he's always made clear how much he loves both of his sons. 
keeping communication channels open throughout the last few years, despite many barbs from California. What? Barbs lowercase b, so like like barbed wire. Anyway, uh, they're saying that his hairy side of the story is not accurate. They're just those guys. They re- re- just reiterate the door is attention. open, and the Duke and the Duchess, or the Duke and Meghan Markle, are welcome at any time. So I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. And another story that again, both of these been just kind of they've been banging both of these gongs a lot. That that hairy thing is it and then this one avatar yeah just in case you haven't heard anybody talk about avatar for the last eight minutes avatar the way of water has a new lego set inspired by the box office champ 528 piece set and another 259 piece set so there you go several interesting stories there big screen little screen brought to you by channel surfer tv.com Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can you stand it if I mention New Year's resolutions one more time, Heidi? How many times have we talked about uh, it? It's quite a bit. It seems like all well, the time. This is sort of a good story, though, because it boils down to this. If you made a New Year's resolution to lose weight, or if you made a resolution to exercise more, forget about it. According to a professor from the University of Rochester... You're not likely to be successful in keeping those resolutions wow. anyway. To change things up, make yourself happier. Richard Ryan, an expert on motivation and well-being, says that resolutions to help others will end up being better for you personally in the long run. How's that? He says the most resolutions uh, are like very self-serving, something for me, like losing weight. Right. And it's all an attempt to look better for me and relieve guilt or meet the standards of others because it isn't really coming from your own values or your own interests. The energy gets like faded really quickly on those. On the other hand, goals which give back to others are more satisfying, according to this study. He says, if we set goals that aim to help others, those kind of goals will, in turn, also add to our own well-being and happiness. I get that. So... Huh. Now I got to figure out how I set a goal like that. I want to help well, others see less of me by yeah, losing I mean, weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, that's not uh, what I like that. Hmm. So what were you going to say before I cut you off there? Sorry about that. I, I don't know now. <laughs> it must have been pretty Because you cut dog- me off. Must have been pretty doggone I important. I don't know. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way. Uh, oh, by the way, I want to mention, if you've not given up on your New Year's resolution a little over a week into the new year, Kudos to you. I'm really proud of you. Keep it up. You can do it. It is possible. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And it's time right now for my favorite program, something we do every Tuesday just because we can. We pick up the phone and we call my father-in-law for a little program we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with, with Charlie. Charlie. Tuesdays with Charlie on the John and Heidi Show. How you doing, Charlie? Seems like I just talked to you last Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Like I've said before, seven days without Charlie makes one week. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> so, what kind of cool stuff are we can learn about today, Charlie? Well, you're not. You're okay. You could care less about sports, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's not our. <laughs> that's not our thing. What do you think the number one sport is? Um, soccer. You're right. I knew. I knew that one. I, I read it somewhere. Did you know that with 3.5 plus billion fans, soccer is the most popular sport on the planet? It in and in the United States, it's becoming more popular. Yes, it is. I would have never known that. It's not a sport that I would watch, yeah. personally. But 
A lot of folks that do. Okay. And then uh, back in 2004, there was an architect from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. He designed and built a house made from cardboard boxes. Oh, no kidding. Really? And it's livable. Really? There are people that do that back alleys and by dumpsters <laughs> all the time. <laughs> That's nothing new. <laughs> Genius. I wonder if he had to do some sort of like a coating on the out. I mean, like stucco or something on the uh-huh. outside of it. You, you ever try to tear a cardboard box up? One of them new ones. Yeah, they're they're kind of tough. Put a couple of them together; it'll hold up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm certainly not gonna try. It. <laughs> Shut up! I might be living in one of the cardboard boxes. <laughs> I'll be in a cardboard box right next to you. <laughs> we'll be box mates. <laughs> That'd be far apart. <laughs> if you ever run out of toilet paper, you can just rip up your walls. No. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. Uh, hey, I know that this is true of you. You have 98% of your DNA is common with a chimpanzee. Yes. I know that's accurate to you, too, Dad. <laughs> I got pictures of them people to prove it. <laughs> well, I think it's accurate of all of us, but some of us just act more like it than others. Hey, then there's there's a service that routes telemarketing calls to a bet that wastes as much time as possible. Oh, really? Ah. In other words, if if you if you get a telemarketing call, it switches to me, and I just talk their leg off. <laughs> that is the service that I would do. Pay for that service? I would love. No, I mean, I would be the one that just talks to them. Have I would do them. those. Yeah. That would, be, that would be kind of just fun. Just waste their time. I'd be fine with that. Well, I live in Alaska, and you want to sell me a freezer? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at that, baby. <laughs> oh, hey. You like orchids? I, I love orchids. I do. Do you know that they are named after the Greek word for testicle? No kidding. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> you know that from Memorial Day to Labor Day, Americans will consume 7 billion hot dogs? That's a lot of hot dogs. There's a whole lot of hot dogs. I like hot dogs. They're okay. I like the beef ones. Yeah, I like them both. I like hot dogs, too. I, I, I like all hot dogs, pretty much. Well, this kind of goes along with it. Did you know that the average hot dog is consumed in 6.1 bites? I, I wouldn't doubt that. I can do mine in two. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you. I would agree. Well, are you ready for a question, Charlie? I know the answer. All right. What day of the week is least likely to have Christmas Eve land on it? Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Really? Tuesday is the day of the week that is least likely to have Christmas Eve land on it. Why? I don't know. Huh. Apparently, Christmas Eve doesn't like Tuesday. Well. Pretty good. Pretty close. You were real close. You were very close. You want another guess at it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't want to miss it again. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want another question? You got another one? I do. I got another question. How about this one? The Greeks consider this day to be the unluckiest day of the week because it was the day that Constantinople fell. What day of the week do the Greeks consider to be the unluckiest day of the week? Thursday. No, it, Tuesday. <laughs> 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 thought maybe you'd remember. That <laughs> was a different question. <laughs> All right. Well, Charlie, it's always fun. <laughs> we'll chat with you. Maybe I'll have another Tuesday question for you next week, too. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sticking with Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to call me again. I will call you Tuesday. <laughs> there you go, see? All right. We'll talk to you next week, Charlie. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Fluff. Bye, John. <laughs> Bye-bye. My father-in-law right there. We talk to him every Tuesday just because we can. It's a little program we like to call Tuesdays, Tuesdays with, with Charlie. Charlie. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Earth is closest to the sun in which month? Uh, January. Okay. This month. It doesn't seem right. No, it's dark in January. Yeah, and it's colder. So you'd think that the Earth being closer to the sun, it would be warmer and brighter. But huh. what do I know? Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Southern Hemisphere typically has milder winters than the Northern Hemisphere because it has less land and more maritime climate. Hmm. 
Okay. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The average snowflake falls at about three miles per hour. <laughs> Who takes the time? I don't know. Somebody needed to do a study uh, on something. Oh, gosh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? One inch of snow will produce just less than one tenth of an inch of water when melted. Okay. So a lot of that is just air, apparently. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Big Dipper in France is called the casserole. Yeah, not the Big Dipper at all. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Reincarnation is forbidden in China without government permission. (laughs) (laughs) All righty then. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. According to a poll of parents, this lasts an average of exactly 17 minutes. What is it for parents? Oh, I know what it's not. (laughs) We're moving on. A clean room. So they'll clean the room, and within 17 minutes, usually an average of exactly 17 minutes, that room is messed up again. So... I know what you were talking about. You have a <laughs> filthy mind. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. bettercreditcards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Criminal today comes from Miramar Beach, Florida, where police were called to the Ann Taylor store when there's a report of shoplifting. Police were led to the dressing room where a person was in there for they left the tags for 18 items behind. But they'd taken the items. But they didn't just leave the tags. They also left their cell phone. Oh. And <laughs> left behind. That's some, embarrassing. And left some urine on the floor. Ew. What? There's some DNA, apparently. Cops used the phone to get in touch with the husband of the lady, and he ratted her out and gave her a description of the car she's driving. In the meantime, another call came in, this time from Saks off Fifth. Uh, where she tried to do the same thing. Six pairs of men's jeans, trying to hide them under her coat. Wow. Deputy grabbed her and found the other stolen items in her car. No word on the fate of the urine. So. Yuck. Don't know what was going on. So, uh, Yeah, that's kind of gross. Very weird. Weird news. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list. Brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. We started this yesterday, so today is part two of the most anticipated movies of 2023. Um, Cocaine Bear. It's uh, coming out next month, the 24th. Director Elizabeth Banks' dark and comedic spin on a true story of a black bear that ate a duffel bag of cocaine in the 1980s. Oh. Cocaine Bear. Okay. All righty then. Creed 3, March 3rd. The director... uh, this is a directorial debut for Mar- Michael B. Jordan, who gets in the ring with Jonathan Majors as a former friend of Damian Dame Anderson. So there you go. Uh, probably going to be a big film for people who saw Creed and Creed uh, 2, most likely. Okay. Scream 6, March 10th. Ghostface takes a stab at New York City as Courtney Cox is joined by Jenny Ortega, Melissa Barrera, and others, plus the return of Hayden Pen tier from screen four. So there you go. Uh, we're going to have more of these. This is the uh, most anticipated movies of 2023. This is part two. You can see the list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.
If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Earl Wilson. Earl says, if you think nobody cares if you're alive, try missing a couple of car payments. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's funny. Good idea, Earl. I like that. Yeah, if you're lonely, just They care. Miss a payment And they'll call you. Somebody reach out, see how you do. (laughs) Hey, everything okay? Just want to check on you. All right, that's your quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It's actually kind of an adorable story. Uh, here's a headline. Oh, by the way, it comes away courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Headline is, small town cancels New Year's Eve fireworks so a walrus can sleep peacefully in the harbor. Aww. <laughs> There's a photo of this walrus, and it's, it is zonked. So a small town in England canceled their New Year's Eve celebration so Thor, the Arctic walrus, could continue to sleep in their harbor. The walrus has drawn huge crowds to the harbor since being spotted on New Year's Eve. Local wildlife experts have asked people not to disturb the creature who has been gradually making his way up the east coast and coming ashore at various beaches. Thor was spotted on the Hampshire coastline earlier this month. Uh, It says the New Year's display for Scarborough were actually canceled out of concern for Thor. The council canceled the show on the advice of British Divers Marine Life Rescue, who said it could cause, quote, distress to the mammal. So that's kind of cool that they go, you know what, we're going to just skip this. I don't know if they're going to make it up. I guess we'll read and see. It says, uh, I was going down to my boat, and there it was on the spillway. Magnificent. Uh, it got to be a half a ton. Uh, anyway, they say, I think this is a once-in-a-lifetime, first-ever kind of thing for Scarborough to see. So this isn't something that you see every day, is what they're saying. It's kind of cool. That's very cool. So I think, I wonder what th- would have happened if they would have done the fireworks. Would it have scared him and he took off? Is that what they're well, saying? Well, he certainly wouldn't have been able to sleep. Yeah. Well, he is zonked in this photo. They've got a photo here. I've got a, sh- a link to it if you want to see it. I was going to say. They're super cute, but they're really dangerous. Are they really? I think so. Oh, I've never, I see I've never hung out with a walrus. I don't know. I do have a link to the story, though. If you'd like to see it, it is in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Tuesday.